what's up family i hope i didn't confuse anyone uh from that last video when i said gross on the 170. i think 170 is pretty good uh you're profiting you're profiting about 35 percent on that business and that's a pretty good profit throughout the year you're talking about 35 percent profit you know at all your expenses and taxes and everything like that but uh i'll probably file starting now uh filing uh s corp as an s corp that way you know i can save taxes save on taxes instead of being uh file instead of filing self-employed if i won't get hit with the self-employed uh taxes when i file for my business do y'all research on s corp i really don't have time to talk about that in this video i don't want to get in that that's a whole nother uh topic in itself but uh LLC do not save you on taxes. Just having an LLC, it don't save you no money. Really save you no money on having no taxes. No taxes. But when you file as an S corp, having an LLC but file as an S corp, then you save money on your taxes. So I look at that child transportation. Just a, it's just a side business, a part time business. That's what it's always been for me, you know. And, um, this something me and my, uh, my wife can put in retirement or invest in something else. You know what I mean? That's how we always looked at it. It was never a main source of income. So, of course, you know, at the tax, we're not, you, you won't bring home 85 grand. No, nah, not at all. That's what uh, any business, you're going to get taxed, you know. But uh, whatever I can bring back, you know, that's fine with me because I'm not working the business. The business at a point now next year was just uh it just it's working the south after all these years and my wife will answer the phones but the good thing about child transportation once the bus is filled up that's that's the end of it it ain't really too much more answering the phone you just ask the phone tell the people you can't you know your, your uh your buses is filled up so you probably she asked the phone probably for like the first two months of the school year but after those first two months of the school year you pretty much going your, your buses or your vans going to be filled up and after that you just uh you just taking stragglers if you do got a spot here and there left if you can take them you can take them but that in the first two months that's pretty much it you know so that's all i really wanted to say about that uh that's how i look at that that's not my main source of income but the reason why I do it like that because I can always scale it. The way that I've structured my child transportation business, I can always scale it. Right now we have four, four 15 passenger vans. So if I wanna go eight 15 passenger vans, I double, I will keep the same system in place, but I double my profit. So instead of 85,000, what? It'd be, I would profit what? 170 after uh after you know expenses and everything like that but not at the taxes but i'm just saying like at the expensive and uh costs and insurance and all that stuff so that's the reason why i did it this way because it's easier to scale you know so we want to go out and buy four more vans and i mean eight vans we're going to even take our prices up the 80 dollars one way vice versa will come down but it's easy to scale a business but it's easy to expand to another area and target other schools when you keep it simple like that so you know next year we might say hey with the year after that we might say we want to get eight vehicles so we duplicate the same thing we did with the four vehicles right so instead of making 170 right we hit the uh what's 200 270 whatever 270 what's seven by seven one forty that'd be 340 we hit we know half of that will be profit half of it would be, would be expenses so now we bringing that in but that means that we more employed more more employees uh caution more insurance but it's all added in so that's the simplicity of why we have structured our business the way that we did for we can grow if we want to or we can just sit at these four vehicles for a while but no we're going to continue to grow it makes sense to grow you know uh, as long as we can find employees now we can't find employees that work part-time for us then now we wouldn't be able to do it so you always got to take that in consideration but anyway next time i just want to talk about was uh 
up some business, you guys. Uh, opening up business, me opening up a mental health agency. Uh, then again, I might just leave this video right here. I, uh, cause we right around five minutes, so that's how why that's why we do our child transportation business the way that we do it with the vehicles because it's easy for us to scale. It's easy for us to, to scale back if we want to. It's easy for us to grow if we want to at this point. So y'all be blessed. I'll catch y'all in the next one.